Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today, and in this video, unfortunately I'm not going to do a Lego room tour, but I'm actually going to do a tour of my BrickLink store. This has been a long requested video on how I store my inventory, how I store everything that really needed to run my BrickLink store, so I've decided I'm going to fulfill that request and do the tour today. Alright, so the first part of the tour is going to be showing you all the parts I have on this side of my Lego room on the BrickLink parts wall. As you can see, here are all the parts I have for sale in my BrickLink store in these small bags. Each part here is one lot, one bag, and as you can see, I have five different bags on each screw hole. Each bag is labeled from either small one through small 675 way down there. All right, so over here in this container in my Lego room, I also have a lot of my BrickLink inventory or just general things I need to run the BrickLink store. So in this first drawer here, as you can see, I have things like tape, an X-Acto knife, address labels, as well as these customs that I used to sell a long time ago that I now actually just give away for free in my orders because they're not really worth selling. Back here, I also have bags if I ever need them, you know, dusting cloths, that's just for my Lego room in general, as well as a bunch of Brooklyn 18 business cards that I have left. That's a, out of a thousand, that's the only amount of cards I have left, so that's pretty good. All right, so in this next drawer down here are minifigures. As you can see, each minifigure is individually bagged and tagged, as you could say. It's got the Canadian price, the United States price, the name of the figure, and then I used to have them in a different sort of inventory system, so it says MO31, but that's completely irrelevant now, it doesn't really matter. And then as you can see on the back of each minifigure, I do have a barcode for at conventions and stuff like that. I just scan the barcode to know I sold that figure, and then like I can take that the barcode off my BrickLink store when I get back. So this is not for like vending at conventions, this is selling at like the yard sale and things like that. It's just much easier than trying to remember which figures you sold so I can take them out of my store. All right, so in this bin down here, we have our sets. So as you can see, I'm running a little low on sets because I did actually manage to offload some of them at Philly Brickfest 2016 at the yard sale. But as you can see, I have like Hero Factory sets and some larger sealed sets. So as you can see on the bottom here, each one has the price in US dollars, Canadian dollars. It's got the old sets remarks, which I don't even know why I put those on. That was kind of stupid. And then I have 5620, which is the set number. Because as you can see, that's this set right here. A couple different sets there. On the back here, I have more of the Brick Lover 18 customs that I used to sell that I now give away for free in my every order. And then here I just have the very small variety. I used to have a lot more, but the very small variety of Lego poly bags for sale. In this drawer here, I just have a bunch of different baggies and things like that that I may need for orders or just other Lego stuff in general. And then at the very bottom drawer here is just a whole bunch of like shipping supplies and cardboard and envelopes, tape, bubble wrap, things like that I may need for packing orders. Underneath my table here, I have my scale, so I obviously weigh packages, and then smaller envelopes for envelopes that are, are orders that are small enough. They don't need the larger size of envelopes, but they need to go on an envelope because they all need to. There I have the smaller size of envelopes, and then I have the larger size of envelopes beside that. You know, scissors there for when I have to cut bags. I have my Lego heat sealer, or not my Lego heat sealer, but I have my heat sealer because under that I have these two bins of bags here that are all Lego reuse set bags. And just right here, I put the parts in there, heat seal it up, put it in your order, it makes it look cool. All right, so I'll admit right off the bat, the lighting absolutely sucks down here because it's only lit by this one light here, but I'm gonna do my best. Over here, we just have a bunch of different Lego games boxes, iPad boxes, things like that. Those are absolutely perfect for going around and using that to pick orders. I put the parts right in there. That means I don't put them on any tabletop surface or anything because they might fall, get lost. Next to that, as you can see, I have some more S numbered bags. So I have small 600 for every small bag that you saw from the other wall that doesn't fit to 685 I believe it is. So I have 15 bags in that one and then each next one I have 100 bags in. So as you can see I have small 700, small 800, small 900 and small 1000. So that's what I'm up to right now is small 1000. I have 1099 of the small bags and each one of them are completely full. 
Next to that in those boxes, there are parts that are in my BrickLink store but don't have a designated area for them to go. As you can see, each one is labeled by color. Some have multiple colors in them, all individually bagged. And that's where if I parted out a set and I don't have enough space for those parts and like I don't have enough small bags left over, I sort them by color and put them in these bins. Most of these boxes are pretty empty right now because I have all my bags full, like all the small bags and all the large boxes full. So I'm, as a lot sells, I go to this bin, I take what's inside, like a one lot, put it in a bag, put it in my remarks, and I'm good to go. Down in this bin right there, I have a bunch of, see if I can pull it out for you, a bunch of just random Brick Lover 18 custom set for like, you know, some of the sets and things that I have for sale in my Brick Loose store. And next to that, in the very far corner there, you can barely see, I have a bunch of Lego advent calendar and Lego sorting trays that I use to sort the parts when I'm parting sets out and things like that. And then over here on these two bookshelves, as you can see, I have a bunch of different small paper boxes that are each numbered as well. And that's where I store all the different large inventory that I have in my store. You know, parts that have too large of a quantity for an individual bag or parts that are just very large and doesn't fit in a bag even though there might only be one part in it. Basically, if it's large, it goes in these little bins here. Alright, so thanks everybody so much for watching my BrickLink store tour. I really hope you enjoyed. 